Okay, go check the mulberry tree. Go check to see if there's any berries. Okay, welcome back to Teal House Farm. Today we are doing a little minor construction to get our chickens out on pasture into this coop. So we currently have one chicken and a bunch of ducks and geese over here in this bird mixed flock. We have six laying chickens that we bought as chicks really early this spring and they, they're ready to come out. Those should start laying in about a month. So we need to get them integrated in the flock. You don't wanna just throw them in there because the other birds will probably feel that they're a threat and attack them, especially the geese. So what we're gonna do is put them in that movable coop there and we're gonna lock them in for about two weeks so that the ducks and the geese get used to having these chickens around. There's a couple things that need to be done. So this is a Siskovich tractor. I'll try to find the video of when we built this like five or six years ago. It has lasted forever. It's a great build. Um, Sam put it together. It's been used for many, many times. It's got wheels on the back end so you can pull it. Usually it has a blue tarp over top, not that cheap painting plastic, but um, we didn't want to spend any money when we uh, tightened it up this summer for the next round of birds. So that was our temporary solution. Doesn't look beautiful, but it does its job. It keeps them dry if it rains. So to get it ready for the chickens, we need to go ahead and put fresh bedding in there because ducks have been in there laying eggs and we're gonna lock them out of it for a little bit. And we also need to add a roost. On our live stream, we had a discussion about whether or not chickens prefer a swinging roost or a stable roost. So I'm actually going to try to kind of jerry-rig up both and we'll just kind of see what they prefer. It should be really simple and it should make them happy. And we also will see if we can tighten down that tarp a little bit. This should be a pretty easy project. We were gonna pull up another movable coop. We have several of these. That way we don't have to lock the ducks out of this one, but it's all the way out in our goat pasture and I can't lug it myself and Sam's really busy. So the decision was just made. There's a very small second coop in here already that the ducks can use. And so we're gonna lock the chickens in this one. It's only for two weeks. Um, so everybody will be safe and have a place they can go in if they need to. And we're gonna save ourselves a whole bunch of work. No black ones? There's black ones, but I can't reach them. All right, let, I'll help for a minute. Let's, Let's go, go get some mulberries. Ew. These might be a little sour, but it'll be okay, Patty. Ew, that, this is going to be sour for him. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, let's get to work. Fresh bedding. Fresh bedding. Pretty good. Okay, let's get to work. First step, we're just gonna clear out what's in this coop that's been in our bird pasture. It's got a broken feeder that's just been left in there. It has this big trash can um, that's got a bunch of old feed bags in it, but I can't move the trash can because there's a bunch of water on the bottom, so it's super heavy. So we're gonna leave that there right now. We find some eggs the ducks hid this morning. Hadn't checked for eggs yet today, so we'll put those inside. Um, and then I think we're pretty much ready. The geese get really curious about what's going on, so they're gonna come inspect and make sure that I'm not doing anything crazy, I guess. The geese never use the coop. I don't think I have ever seen them in there. They prefer the smaller coop we have, which is actually an old playhouse that was left in here. So the ducks are the only ones that go in here and occasionally lay, but they do not sleep in the coop, which is why I don't feel bad about locking the chickens in here for a little bit. I pull out just some debris, some twigs and things that have been dragged in here before we put new bedding down. And then my plan is to use this chain, which used to hold the broken feeder. I'm going to try to use that to hold up our chicken swing. And then we're going to build a stable roost along the back T there. I gather a few helpers who are curious about what's going on, and we go try to find some wood in the barn to build our roosts. Be careful. I decided I'm going to use this older wood. It's already kind of a little bit damaged and warped, and so I don't want to use good wood for the chickens. Not that I don't love my chickens, but you know. And then we discovered the circular saw doesn't work, but Micah helps me troubleshoot that problem. Whoops. So she's going to plug it back in for me. It got stuck on the laundry line when I was pulling the extension cord out of the barn. So she gets me untangled and plugs it back in and then we should be good to go. We just want to cut this one plank in half, which we did. And now to make a swing, we're going to drill two holes, one on each side. 
One side the drill went right through, no problem. This side must be a knot in the wood or something because Ivy and I drilled and drilled and drilled and finally got it through. There we go, that'll be our swing, a hole on each end to put our chain through. So we get the chain down and I discovered the holes aren't quite big enough for the chain and I don't really feel like drilling bigger holes so we're gonna use baling twine instead to hang up the swing. I think it'll be just fine and it's still free because we already have it here on the farm. So we tie up both ends, try to make it somewhat level. They don't know that chickens really care that much. And there is our chicken swing. Next, we're gonna build the roost along the back. Now, here's the part where I remember that when I was in middle school, I thought I wanted to be an engineer and putting these projects together on the homestead tells me that it's probably a good thing for society that I'm not out there building bridges. I think we're all a bit safer if I keep my engineering skills limited to my chicken tractor here. To build this roost, we're going to put some planks and then we're going to screw the longer wood on top. This will help push it out from the back. Needed some longer screws. Are these the right screw for the job? Psh, who knows, but as the homestead saying goes, if the screw fits, we get it all screwed in. It's a good couple inches from the back so their fluffy butts have room to sit. And there is our swing and our roost. And we'll see which they prefer. Let's grab Sam and see what he thinks real quick. Do you have a minute to come see my roosts and tell me what you think? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I made a swing and I made a stable roost. Okay. And I used all reclaimed wood and it was 100% free. So keep that in mind as you rate my... What? <laughs> as you rate what I did. Yeah, I'm gonna come around the other side. Um, no. All right. I think a couple swings. I'll say. I think that'll work, but I think it would be good to get it away from the edge because if a raccoon or something was here and their little butts are right up against the wire it okay. might be able to grab them so what i was envision envisioning was just putting a board from here all the way across oh you said attach it to the back i thought that's why i did that no, i mean okay well, maybe i said that but uh and then this my only concern is that like when you put pressure on it it's not flat mm -hmm. uh and so i think it might do better if you tie it through this way okay because uh, that might keep it that might keep it flat so that your strings you know your strings pulling on the corner right tie it down the end so if you tie it here and the same thing if you put put your hole through does that make sense yes so that it's because uh, I think with it tilting like that uh, but the spot for it's really good okay I think if it were even I think it would I think it would work great okay thank you yep all right, so we'll make some minor changes here later. This is gonna be the end of the vlog because I need to go make lunch because that took a lot longer than I thought it was. So we're not gonna get the chickens moved today, but hopefully tomorrow. I don't have anything going on tomorrow and I'll be able to get them fresh, some fresh bedding and uh, get, that, uh, get those roosts tightened up and get their feed moved up here. Thanks for watching. See ya.